All right, it's that time now. Let's check in with Camilla. Yeah, and that 2020 fire season was really was bad. So bad. I remember I was still relatively new to the area, and I was like, is this normal? Because yeah. it was really bad. Thankfully, uh, it hasn't been as bad since. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We've seen uh, things a little bit calmer the last uh, couple of years. But here's a look back at uh, kind of some mega fire stats for you. So we refer to a mega fire as a fire that burns more than 100,000 acres. So uh, in the 90s, we had six mega fires. The following decade, we had 16 mega fires. 2000 to 2019. The largest one was the Long Draw Fire. And then 2020 to 2022, so just that short time period, we had eight mega fires. You can see them listed there. Of course, a lot of us remember those uh, from, from 2020 specifically. So uh, research has shown that large fires are increasing in uh, frequency since the 80s. So uh, something to uh, keep an eye out for. Out uh, along the Columbia River, this is our Mary Hill Tasting Room and Beast camera in Vancouver 63 degrees there so it looks like a nice evening still seeing some spotty showers on radar though but mostly clear along the coast lots of blue sky there in Lincoln City from our Chinook Winds Casino Resort camera temperatures are in the mid 50s so taking a look at our high temperatures in Portland the last couple of weeks a very steady decline in those highs since Monday the 10th so we had a good stretch of days there in the 70s. We've dipped into the 60s for a couple days. I think we've got one more day where we're going to stay in the 60s before we start to see things warming back up again. So here's a look at current temperatures. 65 right now in Portland. Low to mid 60s in Salem. Uh, mostly 50s along the coast. A little bit warmer there in Astoria. So here's that 24-hour temperature change. Kind of spotty. It really just depends on where those showers uh, are over the region. We're actually a few degrees warmer in Portland than we were at this time yesterday evening. So let's take you through uh, the next few days here. Uh, we're going to see things trending drier uh, and much warmer very quickly. So uh, tonight you can see shower activity really winding down west of the Cascades. We've just got a couple showers on tap for your Monday. I think it looks like one is coming through early in the morning. Maybe you see a sprinkle over the lunch hour. It's pretty spotty. And then uh, by the late afternoon, early evening, it looks like most of the shower activity is still very spotty, but should be mostly in the Cascades and the foothills, maybe a sprinkle along the coast too. So it does look like we're going to clear out uh, quite a bit tomorrow afternoon, see some sunshine to wrap up your Monday. Uh, here's what Tuesday looks like. Partly cloudy skies to start, maybe mostly cloudy skies uh, to start, and then lots of sunshine in the afternoon. Mostly sunny skies on Wednesday. Notice we start to see that offshore flow kicking in. So that's going to really help to warm us up uh, quite quickly Wednesday afternoon. So here's the plan for tomorrow. Just a couple of showers mixing in there. It's not going to be a gray day. We'll see pops of sunshine, especially second half of the day and temperatures topping out in the upper 60s. Look at that seven day forecast. Wow, those temperatures uh, bumping up pretty quick. So mid 70s Tuesday, mid 80s Wednesday. Models keep warming us up Thursday and Friday. Had to throw a 90 plus degree day on there Friday. So really toasty afternoons on the way Thursday and Friday as a ridge of high pressure builds. Thankfully, it looks like it's pretty short lived. We'll start to cool things back down through next weekend. And by the time we get to Sunday, we'll see more typical uh, temperatures once again in the 70s. Anna?